Peter, Sam, and the refreshment lady. As their handle was shut up, Peter, Sam had to run the line. He was excited, and the fireman found it hard to get him ready. Slobber up, can't you? He growled. Anyone would think, said Sir Handle rudely, that he wanted to work. All the respectable engines do, said Scarloy firmly. I wish I could work myself. Keep calm, Peter Sam. Don't get excited, and you'll do very well. But Peter Sam was in such a state that he couldn't listen. When his driver came, Peter Sam ran along to fetch the coaches. Peep, 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 peep. Come along, girls, he whistled, and although he was so excited, he remembered to be careful. That's the way, my dears. Gently does it. What did he say? asked Jemima, who was deaf. He said, come along, girls, and he, he called us his dears, simpered the other coaches. Really, one does not know what to think. Such a handsome young engine, too. So nice and well-mannered. And they tittered happily together as they followed Peter Sam. Peter Sam bust into the station to find Henry already there. This won't do, youngster, said Henry. I can't be kept waiting. If you are late tonight, I'll go off and leave your passengers behind. Pooh, said Peter Sam, but secretly he was a little worried. But he couldn't feel worried for long. What fun it all is, he thought as he ran around his train. He let off steam happily, while he waited for the guard to blow his whistle and wave his green flag. Peter Sam puffed happily away, singing a little song. I'm Peter Sam, I'm running this line. I'm Peter Sam, I'm running this line. The people waved as he passed the farms and cottages, and he gave a loud whistle at the school. The children all ran to see him puffing by. Agnes, Ruth, Jemima, Lucy, and Beatrice enjoyed themselves too. He's cocky, chalk chalk, but he's nice, chalk chalk. He's cocky, chalk chalk, but he's nice, chalk chalk. They sang as he trundled along. They were growing very fond of Peter Sam. Every afternoon, they had to wait an hour at the station by the lake. The driver, fireman, and the guard usually bought something from the refreshment lady and went and sat in Beatrice. The refreshment lady always came home on this train. Time passed slowly today for Peter Sam. At last his driver and fireman came. Peep peep. Hurry up please. He whistled to the passengers and they came strolling back to the station. Peter Sam was sizzling with impatience. How awful, he thought, if we miss Henry's train. The last passengers arrived. The guard was ready with his flag and whistle. The refreshment lady walked across the platform. Then it happened. The guard says that Peter Sam was too impatient. Peter Sam said he was sure he heard a whistle. Anyway, he started. Come quickly, come quickly, he puffed. Stop, 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 wailed the coaches. You left her behind. You left her behind. The guard whistled and waved his red flag. The driver, looking back, saw the refreshment lady shouting and running after the train. Bother, groaned Peter Sam as he stopped. We'll miss Henry now. The refreshment lady climbed into Beatrice and he started again. We're sure to be late. We're sure to be late, panted Peter Sam frantically. His driver had to keep checking him. Steady, old boy, steady. Peep, peep. Peter Sam whistled at the station. Hurry, please hurry. And they reached the big station just as Henry steamed in. Hurrah, said Peter Sam. We've caught him after all. And he let off steam with relief. Whoosh. Not bad, youngster, said Henry loftily. The refreshment lady shook her fist at Peter Sam. 
What do you mean by leaving me behind? She demanded. I'm sorry, reflection lady, but I was worried about our passengers. And he told her what Henry had said. The refreshment lady laughed. You silly engine, she said. Henry wouldn't dare go. He's got to wait. It's a guaranteed connection. Well, where's that Henry? But Pierre Sam was too late that time, for Henry had chortled away. <laughs>